Hey, if you can't decide which NAS to go for because you want to set up a folder sync similar to Dropbox or Google Drive or something like that, then um, I'll show on this video how to differentiate Asus or QNAP and Synology, what uh, each of them has got that regards functionality and, and what they don't have. So we're going to talk about um, the mobile side, on the computer side, the NAS side, and I'm going to go through those few steps very quickly. So the first thing what you want to compare is going to be a desktop side of things. So when you install your uh, sync, uh, folder sync, you will want certain things. So uh, for example, first one, the first column is showing Asus Store. If you have set up a folder sync, everything you put in the folder will be synchronized. If you change any of the file contents, you can actually go back into previous versions and revert back uh, the file if you made a mistake by accident or someone did that on purpose. Uh, same thing can be done on the QNAP and Snorgy. On the QNAP also you get something called um, uh, free up space, which means that if you do right click on the folder or a file, you can choose that um, these files or folders will be only existent on a NAS but they will still show up on your uh, PC, on your computer. Um, this way you can actually free up some space on your uh, laptop, for example, if you've got small hard drive of uh, 200 or 500 gigabytes of data uh, storage space, then you, should, you can just choose that video folder, for example, is gonna live only on a NAS, but you can still search these video files on your computer, same. The feeling will be like these files actually exist on your computer, but they actually don't. So um, moving on, Synology is very similar like QNAP as well. Um, you can also free up the space. You can say which files will, will live on a NAS and which ones will live on a both or um, both sides. Um, then moving on, uh, we're gonna compare the NAS side of things. So there, where's the manager for synchronizing folders? You can see that on Asus store, which is first column. Um, it's, it's very straightforward. You can see the files which are synchronized in the folder. You get uh, to set up a connection, uh, see the log, who is uh, uploading or downloading what uh, sort of files. You can change settings. Uh, you could also recycle bin. If someone's deleting files, it's still gonna be in the bin. You can, uh, you can re uh, restore these files if you want to. Um, on the on the file level uh, side, it's actually going to create a separate sort of shared folder called Easy Sync, and um, it's not going to be actually visible inside your home folder or any of the other existing sharing folders. It's going to have a dedicated space on a NAS for this, which actually can complicate things later on for other apps to see this folder just because it's so isolated. Uh, on QNAP, also you can uh, do the management, change settings, see which devices are connected. You can um, uh, create team folders, so several uh, computers can share the same folder and synchronize these fi files. You can uh, see which files are being shared. You can also enable versioning, so, so you can revert back to previous versions. On uh, file station, on file level, you will see that RQ sync kind of is on a separate uh, shared folder but it's um, still in the same volume so it, it there's no any complications of um, the software uh, using this um, folder as a source uh, Synology drive also they will have um, they'll, they, their drive is actually going to live on each user's pr um, personalized, personalized home folder so this is where it's going to live into so the, the best sort of integration is actually on Synology. It's not any in any way isolated. So moving on on um, other software, what uh, what can this software actually use this synchronized folder as a source? Uh, and let's first have a look in uh, um, Asus Store. And Asus Store is not going to let you actually use the uh, sync folder as a source. So. This is something is not going to be possible. Uh, QNAP is probably the only NAS which is going to let you, let you do that. You can actually through the QMagi um, uh, select a QSync folder and um, 
use anything with using in that folder into this SAS software or other software. Snowgy, you will need to upload, basically copy all the fa files to your moments photo to, in order to be able to use this. So you'll need to duplicate, duplicate actually files to, to use it. And mobile versions, uh, Asus Store is only allowing you to see the files you're having, maybe create some folders, but you can't upload anything to that thing. Uh, QNAP, you can also just download things. So files get, uh, whatever files you put in this folder on the PC is gonna get synchronized to, uh, uh, to your mobile device, but you can't upload anything from a mobile to online. And Synology, you can download, you can upload, you can um, manage even this thing. You got actually uh, options there. You can uh, even use a camera to make a photo and instantly upload, or you can upload existing files or folders. So this has been a, a comparison between these three brands. So to simplify your uh, decision making, which which uh, model you're gonna go for, which brand you're gonna choose. I uh, hope this was helpful. If you had any questions, you can go to info NAS compares, send email there, go to NAS compares, fill the form on the right hand side. And um, if the question will be interesting, we're gonna shoot a video like this and uh, help others as well. Cheerio.